There we go. 164, 223. That is how many miles I have on this tow bar being towed behind a motorhome. That's all this car does. Um, and since it's digital, it does not record it like the old cars when it's being towed. So you got times that by two, and that's how many miles are on the car, the body, and all that. But also, it never comes off the car other than put some grease in it so it doesn't freeze up in case I gotta do maintenance on it. So this tow bar has really been on here. Around 312,000 miles it's been attached to the front of the car and uh, being used, being jerked around and all that is a hundred and... Let's see if we can hit the button and kick it back on. No remote, remote detected. No, it won't show me the miles again. That was 164, I think. 164,000 miles of being towed. And there it is. Show you what it looks like. This is Malibu. It's a very windy day, but hopefully you can uh, catch on. I've had it unhook a couple times. I've had a pin come out. So uh, it has some rub marks. But I'm going to show you what all wo has worn out so far. This bolt. I'm trying to look through the camera. Too. This bolt, which holds that on. So this on goes clear through there. I think that's the non-pivot side. There's one side that pivot. This side does pivot. If you can see, there's a weld in there. Uh, that This one does not pivot. This one's the one that pivots. That was bad. My very first year, I took it into Blue Ox, one of their service centers. They said, ah, that's wear and tear. This thing is shot. Um, I don't know if you can actually see it move. Let's see if it'll focus. Again, this is a review of how many miles it has. I'm about ready to retire it. Basically, this has wallered inside of there on that side. Um, that's expected. Um, all this has worked great. All the stuff up in here, I grease it every month. A um, little bit of wear from it falling onto the road. Um, the boots are still good. Uh, there's some oil on it because I oiled it today. I was having some problems. I was like, you know what? I'll do a review and show people how long these last. Um, I do not put a cover on it. So this is 312,000 miles on the front of the car with no cover. Direct sunlight almost all the time. This wiggles a little bit. Um, this is just starting to age and get cracked. Um, and I hit this with the hammer every now and then until I needed it right there. Until I found out about these caps that pop off and how you can service it. Um, I do have a video on how to service the locking pin in there. And um, it's amazing that it did not have its own Loctite in there. But both of them still work. I have not bought anything to replace this other than this one bolt that's up here. Um, it was about ready to snap off. It had worn clear through. I don't think it was that hard of a bolt. Actually, it wiggles right now. I don't know if you guys can see that. You can't really hear it, but it has a it has a little bit of wiggle. That one don't wiggle at all. Again, you can buy every piece of this, which is nice. These are the original boots, which is amazing because I've hit a lot of animals. I've even hit a super single tire from a semi with it, and it saved the front end. Uh, this car is basically scrap when I'm done with it anyway, so it doesn't really bother me. Um, as for right here, this pin is totally shot, and there's a ton of wiggle. You're supposed to have wiggle there. It's fine. Uh, these blue ox things are totally worthless. The balls on the inside of here freeze up. There's little balls that it pushes the balls down. Has This cap does absolutely nothing because then balls freeze up. I leave it on there so nobody steals it. And uh, I leave that one like that so I can still hinge it around leave it on the front. Again, it only comes off when I put grease up in there. If you don't put grease up in there, these things freeze right in there. But uh, this wiggles. Wiggles a lot. Check the other side. Um, I have bought a re-kit to put new ends on here. Um, but I took it and had them maintenance it again. And uh, they said none of this is wore out. So I took it to another place. They said none of it's wore out. They said everything on your car is worn out. And they brought me new one of these. And they put them in there and it did. It wiggled the same amount. I'm like this is ridiculous. Um, I thought about upgrading to the Roadmaster series. But you can see uh, around there, you can see how much this actually moves. See it moved in that far and pulled back out. This bolt's about $15. Very ridiculous price. Um, they The kit to rebuild all this 
uh, does not come with the stud on there. Uh, that's kind of ridiculous. It just comes with one like that over there. Seen how much that moved there. This one, I don't know if it moves or not. I don't really look at it. Uh, they both collapse in still. I'll show you that at the end. And when it's up like this, they don't teach you it in manual, but right down here, this is the Blue Ox Acclaim. There's a hole right there. You need to keep that hole clean, and you need to spray oil in there, not WD-40. WD-40 is a penetrator and does not stay there after it's done. It may stay there for a week. Oil is made to just, it gets everywhere. It's going to stay there. It's going to look like that. Um, you need to oil these pistons because if water gets in there, which mine do, um, it freezes up. And inside there's a plunger, and if it rusts up, that plunger can't ride smooth on there, and uh, it becomes a problem. There's a hole on both sides. Hole. Hole on both sides, that's where you oil it. Shooting through here does not do anything. And if you shoot WD-40 in there, it actually gets the spring on it, so that's pretty convenient. I'm going to collapse this thing down. I have problems with that left side. There's collapse down. Showing you it still works. Now I'm going to put it down because it's impossible to get with the camera. Put it back on the front of the car. There we go. That's what it looks like. That's where it's set for 300. Well, 160,000 miles hooked up and then the other 160,000 miles is set just like that and taking all road debris, salt, snow, clear across America. And amazing, the boots are still good. Um, I don't put anything on them other than the oil that goes through there. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be replacing it now with hopefully a Roadmaster system. I think Blue Ox owns them too, but uh, I am pretty sick of this setup. Um, Roadmaster I've owned for a really long time and I just don't have it on this car and it's time to go with it. Um, yeah, I never run the pin in there either. But yeah, hopefully this helps show you how long a Blue Ox will last. I could probably get another 50,000 miles out of it um, before I'd have to start putting money into it. But it's just not worth it. Thanks for watching.